This video is mainly for demonstrating Nova Pluto system, which means a synchronous system. Nova Pluto system can realize plain videos on LED display without any computer and sending cards. As is shown in the video, the Pluto system enables its large LED display playing without framescaping and dark out. Nova Pluto system also enables cluster management through various types of network, such as LAN, Internet, 3G, Wi-Fi, and WLAN. When configuring a new screen or publishing a playlist, we need a computer to control the Pluto system. And when configuration and publishment is finished, this core control card, which is named PSD100, can work autonomously without any manual intervention. It equals both sending card and receiving card. Now we are going to illustrate this PSD100 in detail. Hub interface is used for connecting to LED screen. Monitor interface is used for connecting to a monitor card, which enables monitoring temperature, smoke, fans, power supplies, and cabinets. LED sensor interface is used for connecting to a LED sensor, which enables adjusting screen brightness automatically according environment. Relay interface is used for connecting to relays which enables controlling power on PSD100. Power supply interface is used for connecting to a 5V power supply. Giga Ethernet port is used for connecting to LED screen or cascading receiving cards. Status indicator is used for checking work status about PSD100. Audio port is used for audio input. Mini Ethernet port is used for connecting to computer, which enables controlling LED screen. USB port is used for supporting U-Disk plug and play. SD card port is used for supporting SD card plug and play. Reset button. Press it for more than 10 seconds and the PSD100 can reset its default configuration. Usually it's used for restore its default IP address, which is 192.168.0.220. Now we are going to configure a new LED screen with a PSD100. Firstly, use an Ethernet cable to connect to computer through this main Ethernet port. Then, use another Ethernet cable to connect to screen through this Giga Ethernet port. That is about hardware connection. Now, let's look at how to configure it on computer. Open Nova Pluto LCT. Enter the password admin to login. We can see it is the same as Nova LCT Mars. The difference is that we should search the PSD100. Click search by all sites. If searched, we can see the information here. The search is done and we haven't seen any information. The reason is that the IP address on this computer and the address on PSD100 is not on the same network segment. We can try to pin the IP address of it. Look, the transmission between PSD100 and computer does not work. So, we should change the IP address on this computer. We know the IP address on PSD100 is 192.168.0.220. So here we can change the address to 192.168.0.1 
for ensuring the transmission between them. Let's try to search again. It still shows nothing. Because this computer has two IP address for local network and wireless network. Click Setting, Software Configuration. Look, the software uses the wireless IP address. Of course, they cannot connect on different network. We should choose the local IP address here. Try to search again. Now successfully. Attention! To ensure their transmission, we must allow it through firewall or just turn off the firewall. Now we can configure. Here are two modes. No receiving card cascaded and receiving cards cascaded. Select the one according to the actual condition. This page is just the same as Nova LCT Mars, so please refer to the video How to Configure a New LED Screen. Here, Client Configuration, Net Configuration. In this page, we can configure the information of the PSD100. Here we can name the Pluto system for identifying easily and quickly. For example, we change the name to Zachary. Here we can configure the system network parameters. We can select obtain an IP address automatically or configure by ourselves. For example, Change the IP address to 192.168.0.10. Click Send. The parameters will be saved on Pluto system. If we forget the information we have configured, please press the Reset button on PSD100 for more than 10 seconds. Here we can see the information we have configured. And here, we can configure the client resolution and choose the client language. We can configure the client authorization, enter a password, click OK and save an authorization file. Without this authorization file, we cannot publish a play program. Here, we can manage the power of the PSD100. We can add a time adjustment list. And here, we can read the current power status. About the other functions, they are all same as Nova LCT Mars. The configuration has been finished. Now we are going to publish some photos on screen. We use another software, which is named Pluto Manager. Open Pluto Manager. The same, we should search the PSD100 firstly. Click Software Configuration. Choose the IP address and click Client Management. Search Client Inline. Here we can see the client name, IP, screen size, and status. It shows limited because we have configured an authorization. So here, we should load the authorization file. Then, the client Zachary is online. If we want to cancel authorization, we should go back to the control software Nova Pluto, enter the password, click Cancel Authorization. Now, 
Let's create a play program. Add a file here and click save. Name this play program, for example, demo. Publish this play program. Click send. It needs to be converted. We can choose the conversion quality for highest, high, normal or low according to the condition. We can choose the safe path of the program on integrated memory, SD card or U-Disk. Next, click Send. The play program has been published. About play management, in this page, we can play, pause and stop the video. Here we can read the current play information and image. In log management, we can set the log interval and read the log list. In storage management, we can read the storage information, delete all media and delete invalid media. About client control, in this page, we can read the current client time information and set client time information. In client restart, we can set timing restart. And in IP configuration, we can set the client IP address. That is all about this video. Thanks for watching.